Hey, Jenna. Hey, what are you guys? We're filming some of this for our YouTube channel, Psy Guys. Cool story, bro. Hey, Jenna, what took you so long? Yeah, anyone else notice anything strange lately? Define strange. What the? Hey, Jenna, can you help me with this? Sure. Andy, did you put a new card in the camera? No, I didn't change anything. Well, it's a blank. I didn't change anything. Guys, can we just get to the project? Hey, Jaina, did you bring the credit card demo? Yeah, it's in my backpack. One second. What is going on? What? It froze up again. There's nothing recorded now. Huh? What? What? It's frozen again. A little help? Jaina, stay there. Okay, Jaina, um, walk over here, but slowly. Um, okay. Whoa. Okay, stop. Um, walk to Andy. Uh, walk back to us. Guys? You guys are really freaking me out. It seems like you're magnetized. Oh my god, you're Magneto. I am not Magneto. Look, this is crazy. You wanted me to get the credit card demo out, right? Well, hear it. What is this? That's the super magnet. Huh, that's weird. I wonder how that got in there. Maybe not a good idea in here. Well, where should we put it? Didn't Mr. Johnson say something about isolating the problem to find a solution? Isolated enough for you? Yeah, I'd say that'll work. Okay, so let's get the credit card out. We need to take the magnet we were given and place the domains along the strip. Depending on which side of the magnet we use is which way the domains will point. But why a credit card? Look, Andy, information gets stored on the cards as domains. You take the magnet like this and you place it along the strip, switching the directions of the magnet. There are two ways they can point, and those two ways are the zero and one of binaries. Put those zero and ones in order, and that tells the credit card reader who the bill is going to. But what was happening with the super magnet? It must be powerful enough to change the magnetic orientation of the smaller magnets. All the domains ended up pointing towards it, so no more zeros and ones. What? I read ahead. Yeah, we should probably do something about that. I'll get it back to my sister after the presentation on Monday. I don't think she'll need it till then. Paul, it's the magnet. It's gone. One piece of advice that I would give is to always try to hold on to the curiosity that brought you to the, the field in the beginning. Uh, follow your interests, um, and if you have questions, ask them. Don't be afraid to ask questions. That's really how you learn. But take the discouragement that comes with the, with the topics of, of being able to be challenged all the time, but also enjoy, enjoy the accomplishments. So enjoy the uh, discovery, enjoy the, the colleagues that are, uh, you know, that are creating new knowledge. Sometimes you have to dig for something that you might find interesting, but it's very rewarding when you find that. Never being afraid to question things that you might believe about the world. 
definitely try to find what you're interested in because once you're in interested in something, it's no longer work and it's actually just fun and you're happy to learn and do everything. The advice that I would give to somebody who's interested in pursuing science or engineering is just do it, don't be scared, uh, jump in, don't be afraid to try different things. Have the confidence to think about your own ideas and stand behind them and talk to other scientists and researchers about them. And if you can write quickly and you can write well, then you have a much better uh, chance of, of getting your ideas across in a clear, consistent, and accurate way. Keep being curious about the world. And secondly, be persistent. Uh, research is not always easy, and you'll have many drawbacks. But the important thing is to continue striving.